everybody. This is Jennifer Mine King and Lawrence Sims, the narrator, and Thomas Pell, the audio engineer, coming to you from the recording studio where we are producing the audiobook of Loki of Midgard, The Making of a Magician. This project's been a long time coming, and uh, we need your help and we need your support on the Kickstarter campaign. There's going to be all kinds of goodies that you can be a part of, and in just a little bit, you're going to get to hear a sample of Lawrence's work. Um, bringing Loki of Midgard to life for you. See you soon. Finally, they made their way to the Cirque Royale. Loki stood in the middle of the orchestra pit, turning around to see all the red cushioned seats that seemed to be set in a circle. But his sharp eyes saw it was really an octagon. He leaped onto the stage and surveyed the theatre, imagining it filled with his cheering admirers. We'll have the full orchestra tonight. Kristoff said, bounding onto the stage with him. They'll all be here in about 15 minutes for rehearsal. By the way, I don't think we'll be able to get any theatres in Germany, so enjoy this one. I always do, Loki grinned. Standing in the same spot later, waiting for the show to start, he could feel the energy of all the people who did not yet see him. The orchestra tuned their instruments as the excited buzz of conversation moved around him. Then the lights dimmed, the people hushed, and the orchestra started playing the first song they had decided on at rehearsal. As the music swelled, Loki revealed himself in a burst of green light and smoke, as always. Suddenly, he realised he was not alone on the stage. A menacing figure crouched in the shadows, briefly lit by his entrance and waiting for the right moment to pounce. There was no stopping the show. With the stage lights in his eyes, he could not even pick Kristoff out in the audience. He continued with his routine as if the man were not there inching ever closer. Kvasir, Loki hissed when he was close enough. Enough sneaking. Fight me like an Asgardian. The man's eyes narrowed as he drew two sharp knives and lunged at Loki, who blocked him with two of his own daggers. You know me? Kvasir hissed back. For a split second, they held that pose, fuming at each other and straining to drive the other off. The people in the audience cheered, seeming to think it was a surprise part of the show. Kvasir broke away, then lunged again, but Loki flipped through the air, daggers flashing in the artificial stage light. The orchestra quickened the beat of the music. How did you find me? Loki whispered fiercely as their knives clashed in rhythm to the music and their feet moved to the syncopated beat. Your growing fame has made you an easy man to track, Kvasir growled. And now I shall humiliate you in front of all your fans. <laughs> 